I am a happy camper. I just came in from the movies. What movie did I see? Did you really ask me? I just saw Tupac Shakur's biopic, All Eyes On Me. Hey, and I'm here to provide you with my review. I am your girl, Talisa Ray, and if it's your first time visiting my channel, I'm just wondering where you've been, but now you're here, I want you to stay, be my family, click the subscribe button and that cute little bell next to it so you're alerted of all the videos that I have to come. If you've been rocking with me for a while, I love you, period. We family, for real. Let's have dialogue like we normally do. Um, so yeah. Tupac's been gone for 20 years. It'll be 21 years in September this year. 20 years. It's taken 20 years for someone to give a biopic on his life. Now, I get it. There was some, you know, little red tape because mom wanted it to be depicted very well. Well, I'm going to tell you the truth. I'm going to tell you the truth. I'm glad that Mr. Benny Boone had the opportunity to provide us with Tupac's narrative from beginning to end and fill in all the stuff in between. I am so glad, I am so here for it because everything else is a piece here, a piece there, a couple documentaries, some speculation, and it's not all in one place. Well, here we have it cataloged, his narrative from beginning to end. The plot was amazing. Now, how about this? How about this? We all know what the plot is, but I, I'm gonna be honest. When my friend told me that the hour, the movie was two plus hours, I was like, what the fuck? I'm, I'm not going to make it two hours. I'm, I'm not going to do it. Like, hour and a half, hour 45 is my tops. Two plus hours? Hell no. Nah. Shocked the shit out of me that I was engaged the entire time. Maybe it was the company I kept, but the movie was also just as good. It was spot on. I was really happy with the actual movie and how... Tupac's life was portrayed. I was happy with the way he decided to give us his story, the way he decided to walk us through it. And I'm not going to give you that information because that'll be too much of a spoiler alert. But the way he decided to speak his narrative in the movie was very good. I was moved by it. And I learned a lot of things that I didn't really know already. I was shocked as shit for quite a few things. I was like, Ooh, really? Are you kidding? Oh, wow. Like, and I was there for it. Like, I'm part of the Tupac Biggie era. You understand me? I was here when he was part of Digital Underground. I was doing the Humpty Hump. I was here for Interscope Records when Brenda had a, got a baby. I was here when he was part of Death Row Records because California knows how to party. Like, I was here for the East Coast, West Coast beef. Like, I was here when he passed away in Vegas. So I was... Here, Vero had a new baby and was able to watch everything unfold right before me. And I feel like he captured everything and showed me a lot of things that I did not know about his life behind the scenes, him as a person, him being embodied. Like we knew, we all know that he's conscious, right? But it was good to see it portrayed. And Mr. Demetrius Ship Jr. You are definitely his doppelganger. You must have studied everything that there is out there on Tupac. Because baby, the body language, the movement, the speech, the way he embodied his character was dead on. I was like, all right, everybody's got a doppelganger. And you definitely, you definitely fit the bill. Not only was Demetrius an excellent actor, actor but... Michonne from The Walking Dead. See, I'm going to butcher her name, so here it is down the bottom. Michonne from The Walking Dead. Now, I love her already with her beautiful, beautiful, beautiful brown skin. I absolutely love her already as an actress, and this just took it just another level up because we got to see something other than just the tough Michonne. We got to see her play Alfini Shakur, the activist, the wife, the mother. We got to see her show the love and support of her son in film. I was really extremely happy about it. I was. Then you had the dude that played Suge Knight. <laughs> now, you know, I, I feel some kind of way about Suge Knight. You know, I, I live in California, so, you know, all his antics got me feeling some kind of way. But the dude that played Suge Knight did an excellent job. Like, height, skin tone, the casting crew did a wonderful job picking these three people out. Now there's a few that I'm a little, that's eh, a little questionable about, questionable to me. My friend and I debated about Jada Pinkett Smith. I don't think they did a great job. They thought they did a great job. However, 
There was uh, Quincy Jones' daughter. I can't even remember what she looks like. So, eh. But when we talk about Snoop, I wasn't happy. I wasn't happy. That wasn't Snoop. Who is that? Who? 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 Who is that? That wasn't Snoop. But the intonation of his voice and the rhythm that he had in his voice surely sounded like Snoop Dogg to me. Did he do a voiceover? They even pulled in the gentleman who played Notorious B.I.G. in Notorious to play Biggie in this movie. So I thought that was a, a cool added touch. Overall, I believe the movie is worth going to see. If you're a Tupac fan, go see the movie. If you're not a Tupac fan, go see the movie. While you're going to see the movie, check your tickets to us. I enjoyed it that much that I would recommend you go see it and provide me with your opinion. Tell me what you think about the movie. If you've seen it already or when you get ready to go see it, come back and tell me what you think. Are you a fan of Tupac? What, what, what's your feel about this? Like for me, I'm all like, fuck, 20 years, dude, come on. Come on. I mean, well, it took him a long time to do biggies too, but damn, like, do you have to take so long? Like, we, we want to see. Anyway, thank you so much for watching my review of All Eyes on Me. I am your girl, Talisa Ray. Again, if it's your first time visiting my channel, go ahead and click the subscribe button and rock with me. Yes, if you've been rocking with me for real, I am so grateful to and for you. Hugs and kisses and lots of love. I will see you on the next video.